A number of years ago in Lakewood, they decided that three days before the Yantif of Pesach, they're going to close the elementary schools so that the Rebbe's would be able to help their wives with the busyness of Yantif of Pesach. So Vahi Ayim, it's now two days before Yantif, and a fifth grade Rebbe comes in to the kitchen and he says to his wife, you know we have off and I'd like to help you. Tell me what I could do. She says, you really want to help? She says, yeah, whatever you tell me. She says, look, Baruch Hashem, we have six kids. If you could get these kids out of the house for four hours, just take them any place. Four hours, I'll be able to bake and cook and clean. And he's thinking, what in the world is he going to do with four hours in Lakewood with these kids? But then he remembered that Newark Airport is an hour away from Lakewood. So if he takes them to the airport, that's one hour going and one hour coming back. And then he remembered that there's an air train in Lakewood, in Newark. Now, the airports today are humongous. And you can't just walk from one terminal to the other. So you go on a train, and you go from United to Delta to American. And he takes his kids, his six kids, long-term parking, they get on the train. And it's fascinating because the air train in Newark goes near the runway, and you could see the planes taking off and landing. It goes over the Jersey Turnpike. So it was fascinating. And now they're on the train for two hours. When they're on the train, the doors open at one of the stations, and a pilot walks on. Very neat-looking guy, spiffy-looking fellow with a cap and a tie, very neat. And you know, these pilots are wonderful, wonderful guys, many nice people. And he sees a father with six kids. He goes over to the kids. He says, "Uh, where are you guys flying today? They didn't know what to say. So they look at the father. And the father, kind of embarrassed, he looks up at the pilot. He says, "Uh, actually, we're flying nowhere. He says, nowhere? He says, you see, we're religious Jews. And we have a religious holiday coming up, Passover. And it's a very, very busy time. So my wife asked me if I could take the kids out, and we're just having the greatest time together, you know, on this air train. And the pilot got very serious. And he said, young man, I want to tell you something. He said, I've been a pilot for 25 years. There's not an airport in this world. There's not a major airport in this world that I haven't landed in. Two years ago, I got a text from my son. He said, dad... You're always so busy. You never once came to any of my birthday parties. You didn't even come to my graduation. And last week, you didn't have the decency to come to my first son, your first grandson's birthday party because you were so busy. Do me a favor. Take my number out of your contacts. And he said, two weeks later, I got the same text from my daughter. Young man... I have flown everywhere, but obviously gone nowhere. You told me that you're flying nowhere, but with your kids, you're flying everywhere. 